Hello there, my name is Ethan, and welcome to your first initial look at your legal CRM software. Please take note that this software has been updated recently. This video is going to be a brief tutorial of many of the features that you will find in this software. We want to make sure that you can hit the ground running with your organization or firm. Feel free to pause this video at any time if you feel so inclined. Please make sure to comment on this video with any questions that you may have to give us constructive feedback. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've learned something, and make sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks for this software. This tutorial here is going to cover many of the items that are here in this left menu, but to start, we're gonna go into your user settings. So we have here the soft phone, user settings, a return to the old look for as long as the software is going to have that old look, and your logout link. The soft phone is something you will be using eventually, but this video will not be covering the soft phone right now. So I'm gonna click on my user settings. There are a couple of things to take note of here in your user settings, first of all. What we're going to be taking a look at here first is your default login screen. The initial dashboard can be configured to show off one of three menus when you first log in. Dashboard, Inbox, and Agenda. You can come back to the user settings at any time and change this around here depending on what it is you like and what it is you would actually need. All of your firm's intake calls, leads, and cases will automatically flow into your inbox, which we'll cover here in just a few minutes. Let's take a look now at the features in the user settings. First of all, I'm gonna click on Help Center. This is going to bring up our Help section, which has a number of different topics, videos, and ideas to help you out, including our support forum, YouTube channel, and our supplementary training that you'll find here. When you're done with this video, you can view these trainings that are down here if you'd like to drill down a little bit deeper here with this. Right here is your legal CRM tutorial. You can click on this right here to actually set up this software at your own leisure if you just wanna do things in a very particular fashion. We have here the default login screen, which we just mentioned. So you can select the dashboard, inbox and agenda, depending on whatever it is suits your needs the best. You can select this default to classic inbox option if you'd like to swap between the modern and classic versions of the inbox itself. We have here themes. You can click on light, which will give you a white theme off to the left with your side menu, or a blue menu, which we just had. Now, if you're already ready to go, you can deselect this tutorial option right here, which will get rid of this get started option. For anybody new and getting started with this software, it's helpful to leave this option on. Of course, we have here the change password feature. You can change your account's password right here. Make sure that your password meets these criteria to make sure you have a very strong password. Up next, we have here the calendar settings. So you can show your legal CRM calendar right here. You can set your default calendar to either your own calendar or anyone else's calendar within your organization or firm. You can also sync up your calendar email with Legal CRM by clicking on this add new account right here. You can add in whatever email address here works for you. You can even manually set up this email if you like. Currently right now, no email accounts are synced up at the moment, but you can always set this up at your leisure. There are a number of other items to take a look at, such as this pre-recorded voicemails for outbound calls feature. This feature will allow you to load generic voicemails into your system so that when you make a call to a client, you can choose from a list of generic voicemails to drop instead of taking the time to create one new live voicemail every single time. It's helpful to make sure that this message is as concise as possible, but it contains enough information to start your procedures with whatever it is you need. Now, also with this menu as well, you have a number of different options like your default call center statuses. You can set this to either away, offline, or busy, depending on whatever it is you need and whether or not you want to be available right away taking phone calls, or if you'd rather just take them at your leisure. Also, you have here forward SMS replies, you can change your time zone to whatever it is you'd like, and then even set up a saved filter option as well. So right here you have a saved filters option. You can set up a brand new title here for this filter and then create whatever is going to be the most useful for you and your situation. 
Now let's take a look here at the dashboard. This is going to show you an overview of all of the stats for your particular call center office or firm. You can customize a lot of this different information. This is the new inquiries menu. There are two things that we need to take a look at here. We have here new inquiries and we have the inbox. New inquiries are brand new leads that have not been initiated by anyone on your team just yet. The inbox is where you can access your leads in cases within the software that you have initiated and have begun working on. Anything here within the new inquiries menu will be new leads that have not yet been initiated by anyone in your company or firm. As you begin to communicate with these new leads, they will transition from the new inquiries menu over into the inbox menu right here. This is going to be a part where you've started to initiate conversations with your new leads and have gotten started with your particular processes. This is the agenda menu. The agenda menu is for mapping out your day and for being able to see your tasks, calendar events, and newsfeed via your company or firm. If you have your email synced up to your system, you'll be able to see every event from your legal CRM and your mailbox. Whatever is scheduled in the legal CRM platform shows in your emails, calendar, and vice versa. This is the new intake menu with the new intake wizard. All leads, intakes, and cases will start out as a new intake. This screen will allow you to manually create a new lead. This is the advanced search menu. Similar to the global search function and the page specific search function that we looked at a few minutes ago, this search function can allow you to get very detailed and very granular based on what it is you'd like to look for. If there's any filters that you really need to look for or anything very particular, this is an ideal place to come to if you like to do a very detailed search. This is the text messages menu. This will allow you to generate text messages with your contacts if you need to communicate with them really quickly in regards to their situations, their cases, and whatever it is you need to communicate with them. This is our tasks menu. The tasks menu will show you if you have any outstanding tasks to complete. You can create new tasks here as well. This is our events calendar menu. The events calendar can be synced up with the email that you provided to your user settings or other calendars to see, at a glance, upcoming events and dates. The individual tabs for Newsfeed, Tasks, and the calendar events will always be available and visible to any user of your software. However, the content inside is based on user allowances. If you do not have the proper allowance, then it will only show information that pertains to a single individual compared to seeing everyone's information as an administrator. This is the newsfeed menu. The newsfeed menu will be able to show you at a glance what your team has been up to via notifications. This is as if your company or firm has its own social media and you can see any notifications that any of your team members have done so you can collaborate with those team members as you need. This is our contacts menu. This is essentially your team's address book. The contacts page holds every one of your contacts, clients, and providers. So anybody on your team, contacts, leads, anything that you need to search up here will be in this menu. This is our vendors menu. The vendors menu will show you any service or third party that you may have worked with and have spent money with. You can manage your vendor lists from this page. So you can get very organized here and notate any particular service or third party that you've spent money with and you can put down your balances, etc. So you can get very detailed and very organized with whatever it is you need. You can put down company names, W9s, 1099s, and put down whatever balances you've spent here for your particular need. This is the reports menu. This page may have specific permissions set up with it, so you may or may not see this depending on what your situation calls for. Reports allow users to create a variety of many different reports, like the custom report builder that you can see right here. When you have some time, take a look through each of these reports, and then you can generate them as your situation dictates. This is our documents menu. The documents menu will house any documents that are going to be used on a day-to-day -day basis here in your company or firm. You can manage your forms, retainers, Word documents, PDF documents, etc. 
depending on what it is you need. This is our automations menu. Automations have a specific permission set up for this feature. This feature will allow you to automate specific tasks like sending emails, sending text messages, and automating tasks also. Automations are critical because they have the possibility of generating more effective, increased new user signups. This menu you may not necessarily need to use all the time, but you can set up some automations here for your company or firm, depending on what it is you need. If you want to do everything manually, then you may never need to come to this menu. This is our email marketing menu. The email marketing menu allows you to send out items like newsletters and email blasts. You can send these email blasts to your entire database or a select few individuals, depending on the filters that you establish. And finally, we have the setup menu. The setup menu contains many admin features. Admins will come to this menu during the onboarding process. So if you'd like to drill down into any of our features here and get things very, very detailed, this is going to be a good place to come to as well. So that was a look at your CRM software and thank you for your time. If you'd like to learn more about this software, you can do a number of different things. Here under our help center, you can go to our support forum. If you'd like to get some additional tips and tricks about this software, you can visit our YouTube channel, which has many different videos covering a number of different topics, or you can take a look through a lot of our trainings that we already have here. We'd be more than happy to help you and assist you in your journey here with us. Thank you again.